All right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Johnny Carcia Polo from Focal Point Coaching, uh, coming to you today with another uh, virtual coffee with the coach. So I've got my coffee cup, and I'm going to introduce you real quick to someone uh, that uh, you will get uh, a lot of information out of, Paul McManus. So, Paul, uh, welcome to the coffee. Yes. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> um, I had the pleasure of meeting Paul a few months ago uh, through a group that uh, he has co-founded, and uh, we're going to let him talk to you about that in, in great detail. But uh, I do want to say right off the bat that for any coaches that are listening to this, coaches, trainers, and anyone like that in my network that uh, looks at these, this this one is for you, okay? So make sure you pay attention, make sure you stay for the whole thing. I promise you, you're gonna get a lot out of it and you are going to uh, uh, hopefully rush to the phone and call, well, not rush to the phone, but uh, go to the website and get with Paul immediately afterwards because uh, he's gonna do some great things for you. So Paul is actually the co-founder and now CEO of a group called uh, More Clients, More Fun. Mm -hmm. And um, I will turn it over to Paul in a second to talk a little bit about that, but I just wanna tell you from a personal standpoint that I've worked with Paul now for, what Paul, two months, mm -hmm. a month, two months, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And um, the amount of information that he has been able to impart to me uh, has been priceless. And uh, this guy's the real deal. And this is, I say this about everyone that comes and does a virtual coffee with me because I only put people on here that are the real deal. Uh, he really is the real deal. And um, the, uh, the advice and um, information that he can give to coaches and trainers out there about enrolling more clients and just building your business is, is phenomenal. And you will see after uh, hearing him speak for a little while, he has a very different approach than many of the other people out there today that are doing the same thing. Uh, so this is why I decided to work with him and this is why he is uh, here with us today. So without further ado, I give you Mr. Paul McManus. How are you, Paul? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Johnny, thank you for the wonderful introduction. Yes, yes, well, all well-deserved. So we're gonna just jump right in. I'm gonna start asking you some questions and you just kind of uh, fill us in on what you do and why you do it. And that's really the first question. So uh, more clients, more fun. Tell us a little bit about what that is and uh, how you decided to get into that doing that. Sure, absolutely. Um, so more, more Clients, More Fun is a training company and very specifically we help coaches, trainers, consultants enroll high value clients using LinkedIn. Um, so let me unpack that a little bit. Um, you know, we very specifically, we help coaching and training companies and one of the problems that we see in the marketplace, especially with solo entrepreneur coaches is that they face two problems you know is that typically they start their um, franchise they start their coaching business with a lot of skills and a lot of talent and a lot of passion to help coach people right. and when they open up their own shop if you will they quickly discover that um, it's another matter to create a steady stream of high paying clients for their business so test to this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this this is the very specific problem in the marketplace that we've identified, and we're 110 percent committed to helping our clients solve. And so the first one is how to get in front, how to schedule a meeting, how to get in front of a potential client who if who who has a problem who, who you can help solve their problem through your your coaching or your training. Mm -hmm. So number one is how to get in front of them. Um, and what we see is that a lot of people spend a lot of time doing a bunch of activities that don't yield great results. So I'll give you a couple examples. You know, um, one, you know, no one likes cold calling is just my assumption. So no one cold calls for the most part. Um, and so what typically most people see in the uh, marketplace is okay, this whole notion of inbound marketing. So we're going to blog, we're going to, we're going to, you know, do all kinds of stuff in social media. And that's how we're going to create awareness. And that's how we're going to bring in our clients. And that has its place. But there's also some definite limitations to it is that typically it takes a ton of effort, a ton of work. And in that process, it doesn't always naturally lead to the right people contacting you. And what I mean by that is one of the biggest challenges we've seen our clients have is that 
they have a sales conversation with someone who's really interested in working with them only to discover that the person can't afford the rates that we would like to charge, right? Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's not that the, you know, it's not that they're not interested in our help, but ultimately for us to really build our business, we need to be successful and profitable. And so the question becomes, how do we get in front of the people that we call high value clients? And all we mean by that is typically either corporate clients or business owners who, you know, have a substantial business, who have problems that we're geared to helping solve, who we can create a significant return on investment. And if we can help our clients get in front of them, that is huge for the clients that we work with. Right. So that's, that's the number one problem we help our clients solve. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the other component of the problem is that, okay, we've opened the door. We're now in front of that, um, you know, that potential customer, that potential client um, who needs our services, who's excited. So the next question becomes is, you know, he hears our price tag. It's, you know, it's $2,000 a month um, for six months or 12 months, whatever that might look like. And it's like, well, let me think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited up until that point. And yeah. so the next question that we help our clients solve is how do we get, so one, we've got an appointment with the appropriate level decision maker who has a problem who we're very expert at helping them solve that through either coaching or training. Right. We have the meeting. Now the next question is how do we get them off the fence and saying yes to our offer? So that very specifically is, <laughs> is the next thing that all of our training is geared towards. Mm -hmm. And what we find is that, you know, it, it's a couple of things, but one, it's, you know, are you really, you know, does the person have a big enough problem that you can measure that allows them to make a logical decision to say yes? In other words, if they have a $100,000 problem and hiring us is $15,000, mm -hmm. you know, that's something that they can say yes to because they see pretty clearly the return on investment. Right. Um, but even then people, you know, they're still skeptical um, either because, you know, a lot of people make claims that they can help deliver certain results or sometimes they're even skeptical about themselves. You know, it's, you know, it's like maybe it sounds great. I want it, but I don't know. Right. So part of that piece is the credibility piece. How do we, how do we give the other person confidence that when they take that leap of faith with us, when they say yes, because they want our services, that they feel confident that they're gonna be able to, um, to achieve the result that we're talking about. Right. And that comes down to credibility. Um, that comes down to, you know, credibility is typically based off of them seeing that you have worked with people similar to them and you have delivered the results um, effectively that they want for themselves. Right. And so I know, for example, Johnny, you're a focal point franchise. Mm -hmm. One of the, the, the biggest benefits I think that a focal point franchise has, especially when they're just starting out, is that, you know, as part of that franchise agreement, you're buying not just the training material, but you're buying a ton of credibility. So in other words, you know, other focal point franchises, um, you know, Brian Tracy trainers, you know, they've delivered numerous trainings to any number of corporations and companies and businesses around the world. And so when you show up to a potential customer, it's not just saying, you know, myself as a, you know, new franchise owner, I've worked with these five, 10 companies. It's, it's, you know, you have that. And in addition, you have the whole breadth and depth of all of the results that focal point and Brian Tracy has delivered through that training. Sure. Sure. When you bring that to the table, um, and you can capture some of those results that massively boosts the credibility that now the solo entrepreneur coach brings to the table because it's not just buying um, you and your services, but it's really buying into this brand. I like to think of it like, um, you know, if a salesperson, for example, were to join a company and, you know, from day one, they're out selling, they don't need to establish their own credibility. They have all of the results that the company has produced over the, years that's been in business, those are the results that they claim that they can help deliver. And yeah. so I like to help people, you know, um, shorten, the, shorten the sales cycle, <laughs> be able to raise their prices by being fully aware of the value that they bring to the marketplace. Right. And that's probably one of the biggest things as someone coming in into this 
new world, right? This franchise or this new you know world of uh, of but not just coaching, but now having to sell too is recognizing that and knowing um, how to leverage that. And that's something that uh, I, I can attest that you do a, re a great job with is is really kind of bringing it down to a level where it's very easy to understand and and easy to articulate, right? So where we have all this information thrown at us at first and it's like, okay, what do we do first? Uh, my experience with you and with more clients, more fun is the ease at which you guys really help us boil that down to the simplest level to make those changes effective much quicker, right? Yes. Uh, so get rid of the things that aren't, aren't being helpful and aren't bringing you any business and concentrate on these. These are the things that are going to bring you the biggest results and really uh, putting a structure around that and which is tremendously helpful because again, we coming into this, we have so much thrown at us and you know, all we want to do is get out there and coach. Right? Yep. That, that's exactly. really our, our love and that's what we want to do. But in order to do that, you have to have someone to coach. So yep. this process, I, I feel like just um, really boils it down to the simplest degree to say, okay, if you can concentrate on these things, right, and do it consistently, this is what's going to get you in front of the right people. And um, even to the point of, you know, helping to determine what the right people are based on your niche or, you know, what the market that you feel like you can serve best, um, utilizing that, not even to say anything about yet about what you help us do with LinkedIn, right? So that's a whole, that was a whole new world for me. So being able to apply a lot of those principles to that world, that technology and, and how to use it is to me uh, just another one of those things that. I don't know how people learn that on their own, right? <laughs> well, you know, and, and you brought up LinkedIn, and that and that's kind of been our our the what we've become known for. And so we very specifically help our clients enroll more clients using LinkedIn. Now, right. it's not limited to LinkedIn, but that's kind of the the key tool that we have. I, I like to think of it as like a phone. You know, back in the day, you know, if you're a salesperson, you know, it's you know either you're a door to door salesman or you know technology advanced and then you have the phone mm -hmm. and that's what you use but but really it's just a phone it's just a tool right uh, linkedin's very similar where you know today in 2017 linkedin is i would argue the very best tool that we have available to us as a business development tool and the reason for that is that you know there's 437 million people <laughs> on it throughout the world nice. but especially if we're marketing to business owners, especially if we're like marketing to decision makers at corporations, they're on it. Right. <laughs> they are by and large on it. Mm -hmm. LinkedIn makes it so incredibly simple. Once we're clear on who we want to go after, LinkedIn then makes it so simple to take action. Right. Because within seconds, if not, or minutes, if not seconds, you can very quickly identify the person you can connect with them on LinkedIn, you can get their email address, mm -hmm. um, you can reach out to them, and you can start um, making things happen for yourself. Right. Um, so LinkedIn is just, is just the tool that we use because it's so incredibly effective, specifically for our clients. Right, and, and okay, so I'm, I don't wanna correct you, but I'm gonna correct you here. <laughs> you know, I'm this because I've experienced it, is, it's a great tool if you know how to use it, right? So this is where I think you guys come in with more clients, more fun is the way you boil down how to actually use that tool. So many of us use it completely wrong, okay? Our, our profiles are not set up the way they should be to attract the right people. Uh, so it is a step-by-step -step process that really walks you through how to use the tool that's there that has all these capabilities to get to that end of getting in front of the right person quicker and um, and certainly uh, the volume is is much larger than we could ever do without that tool, right? But I had LinkedIn for a year before I uh, I met you guys, you and and everyone else involved with more clients, more fun. And uh, I realized very quickly that it my the way my profile was set up, I was never going to get anybody, right? <laughs> so uh, that the the uh, I guess the moral there is it's a great tool, but you have to have someone that knows it as well as you guys do to be able to make it's so that you can use it effectively. Otherwise, yeah. it's just a, another piece of software. And that's where I was going with the analogy to the phone is that, you know, a phone is great. You know, you can say, you know, hello, and, but it doesn't mean someone on the other end is going to, you know, respond. And so exactly. the, tool, the tool, whether it's the phone or whether it's LinkedIn, is only as good as the strategy yep. that you put behind it. Yeah. Um, 
give you an example of just um, someone who joined our group coaching call the other day is that she had said that she had you know spent quite a few months reaching out to companies and decision makers and she you know she got very low response and so in other words she you know spent a lot of time energy and effort in reaching out and trying to reach out to people but was very frustrated because they weren't responding and you know wasn't proceeding to the appointment we introduced to her um, just in, I mean just really in the past month one specific strategy about how to first pinpoint a company that you want to get in front of mm-hmm. how to identify using LinkedIn um, the four highest level decision makers and then a very specific messaging strategy to get them to respond right. and to point you in the direction of the person you want to talk to. Now, her response, you know, so, she, so, so just the other day in this call, she said, I, I just did this with this one company, I just tested it out, and out of the four people I emailed, three responded, immediately said, this is the person to talk to. Mm-hmm. She said she just met with them the other day and that the person she met with is very excited about what she can bring to the table that he's looking to put it as part of their budget for, oh, nice. for, for the next year. So, I mean, that's, that's the level of excitement. And yeah. this was one single message. This right. was one single company. Yeah. And so, you know, it's not just having the tool or LinkedIn, but when you know strategically how to tap into it to go after the opportunities that make the most sense for you, that's where it becomes a game changer. Right, right, absolutely. And I know because uh, you know I talk to a lot of coaches, right? I talk to them every day, every week, and I know we pretty we all have the same struggles. Mm-hmm. And um, it's all about really trying to you know uh, target that right customer, the right client, and uh, and finding the best way to get in front of them. And and I will tell you that from a standpoint of that technology, LinkedIn, uh, it is uh, uh, intimidating to say the least, mm-hmm. right? But once you are armed with the information and you follow the processes that are so easy to follow and put in place, it becomes a lot less intimidating and becomes fun, right? Because then you, now you, you're actually communicating with people who are responding. So that, 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 that's when it becomes right. fun. You know, <laughs> exactly. Just being on LinkedIn is, is not fun. Right. Getting responses from these people that you, know, you don't know, but they're like, tell me more. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> and, and not only that, but like building that network that, that uh, the people that connect with you, you know, when I first started in there, I was connecting with everybody just so I could have the number, right? They were just there. I didn't know who they were, what they did. And, and, and this has shown me how to really connect with the right people. So the people that are in there now are people who I truly can connect with and talk to and, and uh, possibly help in the future or whatever. So it's not just, you know, blank names out there. Uh, that serve no purpose. So I think there's a lot of value in that too. Um, Absolutely. I mean, so many people, you know, either they restrict their LinkedIn connections to people that, you know, they really, you know, have met over the years, but they're limiting themselves from all the potential people. I mean, I like to think of it as a networking event. You know, mm-hmm. if you went to a, a networking event filled with all of your ideal clients, I mean, you'd be there, you know, shaking hands, doing, right. you know, talking to them, passing out business cards. And LinkedIn simply make, allows us to do that from the comfort of our own home um, in our pajamas if we want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can turn it on at any time and we can turn it off at any time. If anything, for me, it just, it, you know, if anything, it's a matter of turning it off more because it can become overwhelming because it's just unlimited in terms of the number of people you can start creating conversations with. I was, I was just, um, we were talking earlier that I, I've had to close my calendar for um, the next one to two months because it's, it's just generated too many um, clients, too many, you know, prospects, um, and, and <laughs> it's just overwhelming. And so calendar's closed. Yeah, yeah. Good, good problem to have though, right? Very good, yes. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got, you know, hopefully – coaches listening to this, people who are involved in training. So for you, what's, what's your ideal client? Who's the ideal person to, to, for you to work with? Sure. Um, I will, I'll take that in two different ways. So from a target market standpoint, my ideal client is a a business owner who is a a coach, a trainer, or a consultant. Um, And very specifically, um, you know, one that's typically an executive coach or a business coach, um, or someone that targets businesses or corporation. That's my ideal target client. Okay. Um, 
And what I found is that the tools that, that we teach, you know, could be applicable to other industries in different markets, because ultimately it's about business development. But I find that I'm most effective in helping my clients because I understand very specifically, not just them and their needs and their frustrations, but I also understand their, mar their market. And so I know the challenges that they're gonna have in having getting those appointments. I know the challenges that they're gonna have in getting the customer to say yes. And so <clears throat> the reason I've been successful, I believe, is because not only do I have an approach that can help them, but because I can show them that I know exactly the journey that they're on. <laughs> right, right. I know all the opportunities and I know all the pitfalls. Mm -hmm. And so that's where um, people in this market generally trust me to help them because they see that I truly understand what they're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I would describe as an uh, I, uh, ideal client, um, you know, more as an individual characteristics, you know, to me, it's some characteristics such as, I mean, generally I like nice people. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's that's always a plus, right? <laughs> that, that's like a really basic. I mean, I, I don't have any, I don't have tolerance for a nice people. Right. Um, I like people that are um, motivated, that are action oriented, mm -hmm. uh, people that are uh, ambitious. That you know, they want to be successful. Um, they're willing to take action. They're willing to take some risks. They're mm -hmm. you know, they're willing, they're willing to fail forward. Right. Um, in other words, you know, sometimes you know, I try to give the best advice that I can, depending on where the person is in their business, but sometimes it takes, you know, it's a risk. It's something new, it's something different. Right. And so the person that's willing to, to, to try it, and even if it doesn't go perfectly, you know, they've learned something and they've moved forward. Those are the people that I love working with. Yeah. Well, here's the bottom line with that is there's a lot of coaches for coaches that promise, I'm gonna take you from where you are today, which is basically, you know, uh, nothing, to six figures a month guaranteed uh, using my system. And uh, those are the ones uh, I promise you, you want to stay away from, right? Because uh, <laughs> there is no guarantee. We all know that, right? And the nice thing about this working with, with Paul and the group is that uh, we're, we're on a journey together. And I think it's, it's uh, uh, there's, there's that camaraderie there. there you know um, that Paul has your back. You know you can contact him at any time. You know that you know, he's really going to do what he has to do to help you be successful. And yeah, you may stumble a couple of times because, you know, you're, you're in a new area, you're in a new market and you're testing these things out. It may not work a hundred percent in the beginning, but you're going to get up and you're going to just try it again with another market. You're going to keep trying it until you find the, the where your niche is or where you're going to be the most successful. Mm -hmm. So for someone who says, I've got this can, and then this can is this magic potion that's going to bring you from zero to a hundred thousand dollars a month run fast. Right? <laughs> All they're going to do is take your money and you're never going to hear from them again. And, well, uh, you know, it, yeah. It, and that's part of it. And that's, you know, thank you for sharing that. And that's very specifically how we've designed our program is that when someone joins our more clients, more fun program, um, we give them lifetime access. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we, we've only been doing this for I think 18 months or so, but uh, we have over, I think the last time I counted over 200, um, business owners that are coaches, um, right. trainers, and consultants in there. And, you know, some have just joined literally today. Some have joined 18 months ago and they all have lifetime access. And so we have weekly group coaching calls. And so not only as LinkedIn changes, but as their development as a business owner change, you know, oftentimes they come back with different questions. You know, when they first started, they wanted very specifically to know how to do this. And now six months later, their business has grown, they have different challenges. And so we make, you know, so they're getting this lifetime support. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, that's huge, absolutely huge, guys. You need to understand what this means, right? So I remember when I first got on the group calls, it was so interesting to me that people would join and say, yeah, I've been gone for six months, but I just wanted to, you know, kind of get back in and here. And then the next thing you know, they're so engaged and they're learning all new stuff. and they paid six months ago. <laughs> and, and, and six months ago, it was, it was, it was even less expensive. And so, yeah. yeah so and another and, part is that we're, we're continually upgrading it. Mm -hmm. And so we're just, we're just releasing our, our new one in this next month or so. And so all the people are grandfathered into it. Yeah. And, and let me just uh, give you a plug for that too, because I need people to understand what that means, what it is, right? It's not just a phone call. Um, there is a suite of resources that are available. I mean, huge training, 
um, uh, uh, templates, uh, things that you can't get anyplace else that as they continue to add to them, you still have access to it. So uh, maybe your business changes over time and you can go back and you know look at more resources that they have. I mean, that is, you won't find that anyplace else. I, I've never seen anything like it. Um, and the calls, um, the, 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 again, the level of attention that you get on the calls, um, it's not one of those calls that um, I've seen many, many times where you get on and it's a, you think you're going to get on a webinar and it's a recorded webinar and the person <laughs> is pretending like they're there with you live and you ask questions and they pretend like they're getting, mm -mm, those are recorded. This is live. You will see these people live. You see them, fa you see their faces, you see them moving around. They're there. And uh, the other thing that I find uh, unique is um, the calls are set for an hour. They never hang up until the last question is asked. They're meant to be 60 to 90 minutes. Typically, they're 90 to 100 minutes. <laughs> right. So, again, uh, it speaks to, you know, again, the, the type of the, the type of person that you are, Paul, and, 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 um, and the whole group. And the uh, community that's built around that is, is phenomenal, too, because we feed off each other, right? So we, uh, even though we've never met personally, we see the same people on the calls a lot. We, we talk amongst ourselves and we share ideas. And, you know, these people were in the same boat you were six months ago, so they can kind of roadmap it for you. You know, when you're feeling frustrated, they go, yep, I was there. Here's what's going to happen next, right? So you have a, 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 it's a different resource telling you, uh, giving you that comfort level of you're, you're where you need to be. You're in the process. That's how you should be feeling right now, you know, so. Yeah, you know, in, in, into that point, I, I think it's unique because one thing I understand about um, your franchise, for example, Focal Point, is that you have this great community of fellow coaches. I, mean, I think it's like 250 where, you know, you can, you can, you know, communicate, you can bond, you can share best practices, et cetera. But it's also, you know, everyone's probably, you know, following maybe one approach. And so there's probably a certain amount of, you know, you know, th this is the way that we do it. Mm -hmm. Now, in More Clients, More Fun, you know, we have 200 plus people currently rapidly growing that, but you have coaches, business coaches, executive coaches, management consultants from around the world, you know, right. all with different backgrounds, you know, different expertise. I mean, people from, you know, companies you've heard of like Dale Carnegie, uh, Marshall Goldsmith, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, other ones I can't think of on top of my head right now, um, John Maxwell. Mm -hmm. and so you have this fairly diverse community of coaches that are all coming together and not only following the more clients, more fun strategies that we're giving out, but, you know, like, as you said, they're, you know, you're, you're, you're collaborating, you're getting best ideas, best practices. And just, right. it's, that's, that's what our ultimate goal is, is, you know, it's not just to help our clients be successful in terms of building their business, but really making it fun. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It is. I mean, that's what we call it, more clients, more fun is that, you know, it's not fun building, you know, it's fun when you make money, mm -hmm. but it's also fun when you share experiences and growth and success with other like-minded entrepreneurs. And so that's what we try to really create. And we've done it on a, a global scale. Yeah. And as coaches, we're all about, uh, you know, incremental change. Um, you know, 1% rule. We all understand what that means and about celebrating those wins. And that is probably the most fun thing is celebrating the wins, right? We hear when, people, um, our peers on the call uh, have made a good win. We celebrate those things. And that is just gives you more momentum to, to want to keep moving forward. So it is, it is truly a support system there that I, I mean, and I've looked around a lot, guys, I really have, <laughs> I won't find this anywhere else. And, and, uh, it's just so important to, uh, even though we, we are part of a franchise for me and um, many of you may be part of other franchises, it's still nice to have another community to, of, of like-minded people to share ideas with and, and so forth and know that you're going to have that call every week. And you know whether people get on every week or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, guess what? They record them. So you can always go back and listen to them so you're not missing anything. If you have an appointment, it's okay. You can go back and get, and get it, which is great because there may be one that is on a topic you really want to be involved in. You don't want to, uh, you know, cancel a client. You can always go back and listen to it later. And you can always go back and listen to the ones from previous. I don't know how far you keep back, but I mean, there's a, there's a ton of stuff right there. We, we keep all of them. Yeah. So part of it showing up live. And so one of the first questions we ask on the, the weekly call is how many sales conversations have you had in the past 
week. Because really that's where it comes down to, right? I mean, that, that, that's the number one problem we're trying to help people solve. And so we love hearing people, the successes and saying, I did this, I did that, I did this, I got a new client. You know, and so there's a lot of positive energy, people, you know, sharing their successes. We, you know, it's a Zoom call, so we're all, you know, we, we, we high five each other. So there's a lot of positive yeah. energy. And then of course it gets into the Q and A and then also the coaching. So the obvious question is, is that if you haven't had a sales call um, conversation in the past week, you know, what activities are you doing? Right. You know, and maybe it's a matter of reprioritizing the activities that you're doing. What we find is that, especially in the coaching world, um, we've divided um, our protocol, we call it the daily seven, and we've divided it between um, asking and giving. And what we find is that most coaches, they're very, you know, heart-centered people. They really want to help help others. And so, you know, if you think of it like a, a seesaw, mm-hmm. you know, most coaches are kind of like, tipped over like this because give a lot and that's you know and that's fantastic but it's off balance and so on the conversely most you know salespeople are this way where they they ask a lot (laughs) but they're not as focused on building those relationships over time and so what we try to help people prioritize is how do you create that balance how do you make sure that you're asking so that you are getting those appointments Mm -hmm. um, with the right people and then also how do you nurture that so that you have more and more people that you can ask, more and more people are referring business to you. And that's part of the giving process. Right, right. So, well, um, I mean, I got about a hundred more questions. I, can, <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't wanna take you know, too much time on this because I really want people to get the, the idea, right? I think, I think you know, hopefully you guys can, can see and, and the excitement both with myself and with Paul, that, that, that again, this is the real deal. This is something that is worth checking out if for nothing else, just to check it out, right? I don't think you would be disappointed at all. So um, in the last few minutes here, Paul, what, what was the easiest way for people to find you or find the group or, or become involved? Sure. Easiest way is go to our website. It's moreclientsmorefun.com. Mm-hmm. All one word, just like it sounds. And if you go there, you'll see our, our, our free webinar. Now, this, I'll have to say, is, is a recorded one, so it's on demand. Um, <laughs> so we're not going to be there live, but mm-hmm. if you go there, you can um, watch that. And we give out what we call our 10-point checklist to enrolling more clients using LinkedIn. Um, so it's some of our strategies. And, of course, if you like what you see there, then you have the option to um, join our, our, our paid training as well. Right. Cool. And um, let's see, was there, oh, with LinkedIn, yeah, and I will put up, a, I'll make sure everyone knows what the LinkedIn address too, but you can just look yep. up, uh, yep. look up yep. Paul, right? Yep, uh, Paul G. McManus, I, I hang out mostly on LinkedIn, so I'm always, <laughs> I'm always um, you know, I, I look at it as a, as a networking event, so I'm always happy to, to meet new people there. Cool. So uh, if you could give the people listening, the coaches, right, uh, specifically trainers, uh, one piece of advice, what would that be? <clears throat> the the one piece of advice I'd give is to understand who your target client is. Mm-hmm. And what I mean is, is that in order to effectively market to them, we need to know who they are. We need to know that they can't afford to pay for our services. Mm-hmm. And we also need to know the problem that they have that we can help them solve because ultimately people hire us when they have enough urgency around a problem and we show them that we can help them solve the problem. Right. Yeah. And so the more we the clearer we're on that and their problems and their troubles, the clearer we can message to them that we're the solution for them. And that can be one specific target market or it could be a few different vertical markets um, if you want to not just choose one. Right. Um, what we find is that ultimately when you get some traction, life becomes easier when you focus on one because you get more efficient at it. But um, I think it's also a mistake to choose one without, um, you know, without just, just for the sake of choosing one, I would avoid that. But when you tackle a few different ones, you get some traction, then you really understand them so well that when you show up, they are excited to um, get your help. Right. Well, and, you know, from, again, going through the program and working with you guys, it's to me, I was, I was one of those resistant ones right at first where, God, if I, you know, you know, narrow this focus down here, I'm leaving all these other people I could potentially be working with are out. And it's really, uh, what's interesting is the opposite happens. And I've seen it, you know, for myself and I've seen it with a lot of other people is 
um, the people that you were trying to get in front of when you were trying to be everything to everybody, all of a sudden, now that you are, you know, marketing it in such a way that you're specialized, now they come knocking at the door and they're like, well, if you can help them, can you help me? Right. And uh, so it really does that dynamic really changes when you can get through your head, the, the psychology behind it. And it really does work. Um, and the whole idea of, you know, picking a target market was, for me was a challenge. And again, uh, just having someone go through the process with me and making me understand, you know, why I was doing it and what made the most sense for where my skills were and what I was bringing to the table was huge. Uh, it takes that big monster and boils it down into uh, a very digestible, you know, thing that you can work with as, uh, as opposed to just sitting there going, well, I like banks, you know, I mean, I think I, can work with them. <laughs> I don't know. Well, so, be, you know, in, in, yeah. if I can just, you know, part of it is that once, you know, once you get in front of the potential client, it goes back to the credibility is that, you know, even if you have a few different target markets, that's fine. But for them to be able to say yes to your offers, they need to feel comfortable that you really understand their problems, their needs. Right. And the one thing that can distinguish you very easily between you and the hundreds of other service professionals that claim that they can do the same thing mm -hmm. is the credibility you have of having worked with people just like them. Right. Case studies, testimonials. Um, when they see all the evidence of the results that you help people like them get, it becomes a much, much easier um, time for them to say yes. Mm -hmm. And then the side benefit is that you can charge a lot more because you're charged because you're so specialized in helping them that they're willing to pay a premium for the services that you have. Right. Right. Well, okay. I am going to uh, wrap this up because I know we've been probably longer than we expected to be. <laughs> but like I said, I could talk about this all day long. <laughs> uh, bottom line here, guys, is if you're listening to this, if you are at all struggling or not even struggling, if you're just looking for a way to increase that pipeline, increase the, the, uh, the number of clients that you're reaching or, any questions like that, this, I'm telling you, this is the place to go, right? Um, don't look at any place else. I've looked at all of them. They're not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, and, 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 you know, you're right. We can keep on going on, but I have to add that, you know, if you're starting out and struggling, please at least look at our free webinar because you'll get a lot of tips in there. that will be beneficial. Mm -hmm. And if you're like just killing it, you're crushing it and you just want to raise your rates more and you want to, um, you know, just keep that, you know, higher quality leads, you know, more consistent leads, whatever that is, yeah. we can help you there too. Um, so, it, you know, to, regardless of where you are in your business, if you're a coach, a trainer, or a man, you know, consultant, you know, we can help you make money, I guess. Very true, very true. So, Paul, any of the uh, last minute pieces of advice or words of wisdom you want to give to everyone before we go? Um, just, you know, I'll, I'll share a quote that I, I thought of recently, but it's, it's, the man who chases two rabbits, rabbits catches neither. So I've learned in building my business that one of the best things that I've done to be, um, you know, to, to, to be where I'm at today is just focus and discipline on what it is I want. Mm -hmm. How can I get rid of all the distractions and just, yeah. you know, go after that with abandon. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you guys found this helpful. I, I, I stumbled upon this. Uh, I, I want you. I want to save you time, and energy, and I'm telling you, just go out and look. Right? Just go out and look, and you'll and you'll be so impressed with what you see. Uh, and and give these guys, give Paul a shot, give them a shot. I think you'll be uh, thrilled at what you get in return. So, for uh, myself, uh, again, I'm Johnny Carcia Polo with Focal Point Coaching. I'm going to raise my cup, Paul, to you one more time. Um, and I'm telling you, you guys, you need to give, uh, uh, get in touch with Paul and, and see how he can help your business, no matter where you are, just like he said. And um, that's all I have today, but I will continue to bring you the best of the best. And he is one of the best of the best for sure. And um, I will see you next time on Coffee with the Coach. Thanks, Paul. All right. Thanks, Johnny. All right.